Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So as well as targeted supplementation, a good diet and good exercise, it's important to get good quality deep sleep to live a long and healthy life. And you'll know if you watch the channel that I did a sleep test a few months ago where I did actually manage to double my deep sleep. Part of that experiment, I used these blue light blocking glasses and I used my fitness tracker to see what effect these had on either the length of my sleep, my light sleep or my deep sleep. Uh, and if you watch the video, you'll know that these little beauties made absolutely no difference whatsoever. These now reside in the cupboard of broken dreams. Uh, I recently read an article by the Mayo Clinic and watched some interviews with um, eye care specialists and professionals who have now also seemed to blow the lid on the blue light blocking glasses craze. So enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and see what the Mayo Clinic has to say about blue light blocking glasses. This is a review of a study I read into the efficacy of blue light blocking glasses. Is there any scientifically based evidence with regard to falling asleep and the effect of blue light on our circadian rhythm? Or do people just think they get a better night's sleep because of the advertising hype? Firstly, let's hear from Andy Mant. He's the CEO of Blue Blocks, a company that sells blue light blocking glasses. And what I found was that there was a lot of evidence that showed that if we exposed ourselves to artificial light after sunset, so this is light from your TV, your smartphone, your laptop, or even just the lights that are on in your house after sunset, it's tricking the brain into thinking it's daytime. It's telling our brain not to produce melatonin, which is a sleep hormone, so we don't get good sleep. And then over time, we get chronically fatigued, we can get anxiety, depression, we can get weight gain, and generally have a high susceptibility to lots of different diseases. Interesting words there, prefaced by Andy with the phrase, lots of evidence. But I've checked, not a single link to a scientific study or any quantifiable data on his website. It appears to be all hearsay. But stick around because I have some scientific studies and medical professionals that will shed some light onto these claims. Dr. Muriel Shornak, a Mayo Clinic optometrist, explains that the macula is the area of the retina in our eye that is responsible for processing your clear central vision. The macula can be sensitive to blue light, which is part of the visible light spectrum and is also emitted from electronic devices such as cell phones, computer monitors, and televisions but the majority of blue light that we are exposed to actually comes from the sun let's see what dr shornak has to say about macular damage and blue light there is a theory that if you are exposed to high levels of blue light the macula could be damaged the second theory is that blue light tends to be excitatory for the central nervous system so if you are exposed to blue light immediately before you try to go to sleep, your central nervous system has just been told that it should wake up by that blue light. So here is Dr. Shornak again to talk about people who actually just want to wear blue light blocking glasses. They may be very useful for some people, and I'm certainly not uh, decrying their use in folks who find them to be helpful. But I would also assure people that as of yet, there is not strong evidence that blue light filtering glasses are necessary to preserve macular health, nor do they have a significant effect on your circadian rhythm or sleep-wake cycles. Let's quickly talk about my results. If you have watched this video, you will know that I was able to double my deep sleep. You will also know that using blue blocking glasses made absolutely no difference whatsoever to the length of time it took me to fall asleep, my total sleep for the night, or my deep sleep during the night. But what did finally help was reducing the temperature of my room at night and introducing total darkness as I slept. The blue blocking glasses as I said, made absolutely no difference whatsoever. I'll leave a link in the description below to this video that I made.
But obviously, don't take my word for it or the word of the Blue Blocks CEO. Look at this piece from the Journal of the College of Optometrists that shows that in 2015, the UK Advertising Standards Authority, the ASA, found that a national press advertisement from an optical retailer promoting the use of blue light filtering spectacle lenses to consumers to filter out harmful blue light constituted misleading advertising. And later in the same article, this statement describes how a review by Professor John G. Lawrenson established that there is a current lack of quality clinical evidence to support a beneficial effect with blue blocking spectacle lenses for reducing eye fatigue, enhancing sleep quality or preserving macular health. And this study in PubMed, again link in the description below, where it concluded that we find a lack of high quality evidence to support using blue blocking spectacle lenses for the general population to improve visual performance or sleep quality, alleviate eye fatigue or conserve macular health. And it is not only online that the blue light blocking glasses suspect science is being used to sell products. These are some clips from a Canadian hidden camera show, link in the description below to the full clip, which visited 12 stores to see what the story was. Patient against any blue rays from the computer is cut the, you know, damaging rays from computer. So it blocks about 20 to 40 percent okay. of the harmful blue lights coming from tablets, computers. So I have a blue light filter. For, for people use a computer all the time. I'm in front of my computer a lot at work. Blue, blue filter, yeah. The sales pitch sounds and looks convincing. You see blue oh, yeah. blue light? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Going through? Yeah. Here, you don't see the blue light. So this, they filled out the blue lights. It protects you. You know, you get fatigued. Oh my God, just staring at it like that and staring at lights. It just gives you that cut down the fatigueness. In this second clip, the shop assistants turn up the scare tactics to get the blue light lenses sold more effectively. It caused the retinal damage. It damages your eyes, obviously. Like macular degeneration, like when it's damaged to your retina, things like that. At one chain, we even hear the C word. It caused skin cancer, cataract, macular degeneration, and other eye conditions. In this third clip, they show footage from America's oldest eye hospital, where they meet Dr. Sunia Garg, who is an eye doctor, an eye surgeon, and spokesperson for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. It's a new thing and it's all over the internet. I can't even open up, you know, any website without, you know, hey, maybe you want to buy these blue light blocking lenses. Okay then, let's hit play. If you're in front of the monitor uh -huh. and your eyes are tired, uh -huh. usually blue light affects your eyes in that way. Because the blue light is really damaging, so you feel very, very fatigued. Especially office work, you stick to in front of screen all the time. You get blue light right away, like every single minute. It causes your strain in your eyes. We heard that several times. Is blue light from your screens harmful? No, it's not. And I don't know where that's come from and why it's taken off so much because it's not data driven. Let's now hear from Dave Asprey, the alleged father of biohacking and the owner of the company True Dark Glasses. It's Stop Junk Light Day. There are a ton of things that you can do to control junk light in your life. And you might say, what the heck is junk light anyway? Well, here's the deal. A long time ago, we started putting high fructose corn syrup and margarine in our food and pretending like it was food. And we accidentally did the same thing in our homes, in our schools, and in our businesses. We replaced things like natural sunlight or incandescent light or heck, even lamp light that our bodies understand with junk light in an effort to save money. So here he's comparing high fructose corn syrup to blue light and the majority of blue light comes from the sun. We all know about the negative effects of high fructose corn syrup, but conflating the two strikes, in my humble opinion, a certain amount of unfounded fear. Remember that fear sells. And don't forget, Dave Asprey owns a company that sells blue light blocking glasses. Marketing 101, invent a problem, but then offer a solution. It's nice to save money on energy. The problem is that if you start feeding your eyes, your brain, your skin, and these little cells in your body called mitochondria, 
artificial wavelengths that they were never evolved to understand, you end up with biological confusion. The Nobel Prize was granted last year for discoveries in circadian biology. So lights like LED lights and fluorescent lights mess with your sleep cycles. They make you hungry, they make you tired, they give you headaches. They completely mess up the way your body was meant to work. Yes, artificial light keeps us awake and the Nobel Prize was awarded for circadian biology, but it didn't prove that blue light messes up your health. If it did, I think Dr. Garg and Dr. Shornak and every other ophthalmologist would know about it. Remember that an ophthalmologist is an MD. Opticians are trained to fit eyeglass lenses, frames and contact lenses. They are technicians, but before they can be a technician, they have to be a salesperson. Light is as important as food. So if you're feeding yourself a great diet and you're sitting under artificial lighting, you're not protecting your eyes, your brain, and your skin from bad light, well, you shouldn't wonder why you don't feel as good as you could. You shouldn't wonder why you're so tired at the end of the day or why when you walk into a big store with bright lights at night, you feel like a zombie and you walk out with a shopping cart full of stuff you didn't even want. It's because light controls your brain, light controls your cells, and that's why junk light's so important. I think the statement that the reason you feel bad when you eat a good diet is because you eat under blue light is a bit of a stretch. And in my humble opinion, I think that's misleading. It may be also the supermarket analogy is slightly ludicrous. It may have something to do with you having just done a long day and not wanting to be in the supermarket. That's why you're tired. And the reason that your trolley or your basket is full of stuff that you didn't really want is because of the supermarket's aggressive and well-designed marketing strategy. Nothing to do with the blue lights in the ceiling. And the next time you're out, do a small test. Look into an optician shop and see how many of them are actually wearing blue light blocking glasses. Now there are blue light blocking glasses that don't look a different color. So they could actually wear any kind of glasses and tell you that they are blue light blocking glasses. And if you think back to the last clip, according to some of the opticians, if you don't wear it, blue light can give you cancer. So the choice is yours. Would you trust the word of Dave Asprey, owner of True Dark Glasses, or Andy Mant, the CEO of Blue Blocks, who, according to the Melanie Avalon podcast, started the company after becoming dissatisfied with the then quality of blue light blocking glasses on the market? Or would you lean towards the evidence, the scientific evidence, from a raft of ophthalmic professionals who have access to real study data. It's a new thing and it's all over the internet. I can't even open up, you know, any website without, you know, hey, maybe you want to buy these blue light blocking lenses. Is blue light from your screens harmful? No, it's not. And I don't know where that's come from and why it's taken off so much because it's not data driven. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, obviously, hopefully both. There seems to be a raft of information there from people who sell or represent companies who sell blue light blocking glasses and are very enthusiastic about it. However, that enthusiasm doesn't seem to be reflected in eye care specialists or eye care professionals. Now, these aren't gonna do you any harm other than they might just be a complete and absolute waste of money. So I'd be interested to know, do you use blue light blocking glasses? And if you do, and you think that you get better sleep, do you know that you get better sleep because you track it? Or do you just think because of maybe the marketing hype that they are actually doing you some good. I'd be interested to see what your comments are in relation to the content that I've shared today and also any personal information you have with regard to blue light blocking glasses.